so hey guys in this video we'll be doing summation of digits using recursion uh, this is very similar to the very first video of this series in which we did a summation of all the numbers or all the elements of a list uh, it was uh, so uh, basically that was easy it was list we could access element by index but here we can't but the logic still remains the same what we'll be doing is our recurrence relation is going to be simple the summation of digits of a number is equal to units place plus summation of digits of rest of the numbers like so it's like iterating through the number digit by digit but using recursion and uh, in order to implement that what we'll be using is since a number is not a list we can't access the element at a unit place or get the or or basically get the remaining number with these what we'll be using is we'll be using some sort of arithmetic operators to get our jobs done so in order to uh, get the uh, get the digit at the units place what we'll be doing is we'll be using a modulus operator that gives out remainder so if we do a mod 10 it gives out 3 3 is essentially the number at the units place and if i do uh, 1 2 3 divided by 10 by doing an integer division what we get is the quotient so the quotient when we divide 1 2 3 by 10 is nothing but 12 and 12 if you see is nothing but your remaining number so if you if you remove the units place what you get so if you remove the if you remove the digit at the units place which is 3 what you get is 1 2 which is 12 which is nothing but the quotient so we will be using this two to get the to get the digit at the units place and our remaining number now when would our recursion end our recursion end when our number becomes zero how, how did we reach that so let's say we reach to the most significant digit which is in case of one two three it is one so what would be our remaining number when i do so our remaining number is computed by a number integer division by 10 so when we reach at the most significant digit that is 1 1 divided by 10 is nothing but 0 right so as part of the final iteration what would happen is our base condition would be defined when the input number reaches 0 so when the input number or basically when the number reaches 0 that's when we would be returning 0 as part of our base condition so let's quickly code this and see that if it if uh, our thing works or not so what we'll do it is we'll define a function called some digits that accepts a number which is an integer and returns an integer which is nothing but the sum of digits internally it would call a helper function called sum or let's just name it as sod for sum of digits and it takes in the number and returns the summation of digits i'll define the function here which takes in the number of type integer returns an integer and the idea is simple we'll define a rec uh, so we'll write our recurrence relation we call it units digit plus invoking the same sod on remaining number in order to identify units digits units digit would be number modulus 10 number modulus 10 while my remaining number is equal to number integer uh, basically integer division 10 right and as part of our base condition what we'll have is if our number reaches 0 we return 0 right just to see this in action let's just print units digit and remaining number and see what pops out so if i run this with the number i'll keep it simple with the number one two three let's see what happens we get three as our units digit and the remaining number is one two we get two as our next units digit and we get remaining number is one then we get one as our units digit and the remaining number is zero and once it reaches zero it returns zero and then because of this particular line here it returned and returned and returned and eventually did summation of all the units digits out there right so uh, this is how we could compute summation of digits using recurrence so let me just add one more number one two three two one two three two one the output should pop out as nine and it did right so yeah this is a very simple way to write sum of digits although you can do it 
with iteration but we chose to do it with recursion just to get our concepts clear because this video is part of a very big series that i'm planning in which we'll be writing much more complex codes in the future this is more like a one dimensional recursion in the next one we'll be looking at two dimensional recursions then we'll start building games start building a uh, very simple versions of ai will be generating some really interesting interfaces out of this thing very interesting patterns uh, uh basically that's a part of my bigger plan and this is just a small step in that direction so i hope you like this video if you if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you find this country if you find this content interesting and amusing give this channel a sub and i'll see you in the next one thanks a ton